Hey friends, it's Rachel with the Ponds Farm House and I'm here today with another upcycling project that I think you're gonna love. Spring is here and I'm starting to go to the garden nursery and pick up flowers to plant in my planters and in my garden. And so I've been collecting some of these little flower pots and thinking of ways that I might could upcycle them. And I came up with an idea and I think you're gonna love it. I'm going to be using some old book pages. These are actually from an old magazine that I picked up at a thrift store that are perfectly aged as they are. We're going to be using those to create these really rustic looking uh, flower pots that you could use on a dining room table. You could use them alone uh, as with just one little plant in them. And the sky's the limit because you can recover any size little pot that you might have that you would normally take to the recycling center uh, but these upcycling is going to be fun so let's get started okay the first thing you want to do is go ahead and tear your book pages into strips i use about uh, three quarters of an inch to a half an inch and some of them are even smaller and then you want to roll the top edge of each piece i roll the widest uh, edge usually because the pots taper down at the bottom. Uh, you can use a pencil, a uh, ink pen. I'm actually using this um, this little Allen wrench. Uh, it's just something that I've used for several things that I've rolled, like when I was doing the paper flowers, and I like how it turns out. Uh, after we did that, then I'm going to actually make some tags to go on it using uh, some little rubber stamps. Um, just, I'm actually writing out tulip here on this piece. I want the edges to be frayed, so you just want to tear everything to have those frayed edges. Then crinkle the edges and apply Mod Podge to the back and let it dry so that they will stay crinkled. Now set it aside, crinkled up, so that it'll dry that way, and then you'll be able to add it to your pots. Now the very first thing that I did was I went ahead and painted the edges of this clear pot so that it would look prettier uh, once you get um, the paper on it. And the way we apply the paper is we just go ahead and apply a really good coat of Mod Podge all over the side, kind of doing it, working in small areas at a time, and then attach each strip of paper to it. Once you have it in position that you like it, you want to go ahead and apply another heavy coat of uh, the Mod Podge over the top of that piece to set it. Um, then you'll come in with a second piece, and this time uh, you want to overlap it just slightly. And sometimes if your, pa if your pieces are really, really even, you'll want to overlap it more at the bottom than you do at the top. But you just want to make sure that you're completely covering the entire container as you're applying this. And again, you'll notice I'm working in small sections. If you put the glue all over it, you'll you'll have to put, apply it a second time because it dries too quickly. Um, this paper is a little thick, and so I'm really putting a lot of glue on it. Or This is Mod Podge, um, which is basically just a glorified glue. Uh, but what you want to do is um, overlap and, and continue to apply the Mod Podge until you've got it completely covered. And you'll notice I'm tucking the bottoms in underneath a little bit, and sometimes that's a little harder to get it to fold, so I just keep going back over it, but it will um, eventually hold there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up real quickly and show you the next step. Hey friends, I'm back for day two. All of our uh, upcycled plant containers have now been transformed into the cutest little flower pots. Um, it took a little while for the uh, Mod Podge to dry, but now that it is dry, I wanna share with you some of the things that I've thought of. 
uh, first of all, um, you saw on the video that I was making little name tags like with the name of the, of the herb or the flower, um, which was a fun way to do it. But then I got to thinking about it. These would be so cute on a table if you were doing like a bridal lunch or if you were doing a um, uh, just a brunch with girlfriends and you wanted to have a little take-home treat for them, these would be adorable and you'd have hardly anything invested. Um, so I wanted to just share with you those ideas and I'm gonna show you, I've put together some little um, vignettes and let you see how they look. But one of the first things that I did was I filled the um, one of the pots up with little faux, these little soft touch tulips. They're, they look really nice. They're too long, as you'll notice, they're very long. Um, so all you have to do, you don't want you do not want to take the snips to it because you might want to use these in something else unless you're going to be sending these home um, with your guests but all you need to do is just fold it up just like that and then you can just tuck it right in with all the other other little um, tulips and then you have the cutest little tulip um, flower pot that again, you could send home with a guest or just to decorate your table or any area of your home. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about was you might wanna use real flowers or real greenery or real herbs in your pots. Uh, this pot I put rosemary on and uh, I intend to fill it up with some uh, rosemary from my garden. Um, this again would be a great little take home gift, but all you really need to do is just maybe take either uh, a little glass jar that something came in that'll fit in here or a tin can and put the tin can inside with water and then you can fill it up with your greenery. So I'm gonna show you, I don't have the water in there, but we can put that in later. I'm just gonna stick these little sprigs that I cut from the garden here in there and ta-da, you've got a little quick arrangement to put on your table. Um, it smells wonderful too. So uh, this one turned out really cute. Um, but what I, the other thing was is actually using uh, people's names, you know, as a place card. So I made uh, several little place cards with uh, different names on them and these can be attached the same way that you attach the, um, the name of the herb or whatever. Uh, all I do is I just paint the back side of them with the Mod Podge so that um, when you fold them up and let them dry, they'll stay crinkled like this. And then just take another little drop of Mod Podge when you're ready to attach it and just press it onto your uh, container. The other thing that I did was I used just some jute twine around there, but you could use anything that you wanted to. You could dress them up with some really pretty ribbon. Um, but these are just, I'm doing them kind of rustic like. Um, for the sage, I'm gonna just use some little faux uh, greenery here. And again, this is just like one little bundle, uh, but it's too tall if you leave the stem straight. So I'm just bending the stem up and then we just stick it into the container like this and see how cute that looks. And again, that would be a cute take-home gift or um, table decoration. So uh, I actually put some, our lilacs are not in bloom yet, but I put some little faux lilacs in this one that I put lilac on. But the it's really limitless what you can do with these. And I'm gonna, uh, take you over to the table and let you see some of the things that I've done. And I really appreciate you for watching today and I hope that you enjoyed this and it gave you some ideas. Oh, one thing that I thought of um, was when I put the tin can inside the um, container, I thought, well, some people might say, well, why didn't you just do a tin can, cover it? And you could do that. That would be really, really cute. But I like the way these flare out. Uh, the little pots are more narrow at the bottom and wider at the top, where most of your tin cans are gonna be straight up. Uh, but, but again, there are so many options to, for doing this type of craft and it's, really budget friendly. So again, thank you so much. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, I hope you will so that you never miss any of my adventures. So before you go, let's take a look at how I'm using the flower pots to decorate around the house this spring.